Cardiology 101, Understanding Myocardial Infarction. Welcome, medical students, to today's lecture on myocardial infarction, a life-threatening condition that affects the heart. In this comprehensive script, we will delve deep into the pathophysiology, clinical classification, risk factors, complications, and management strategies associated with myocardial infarction. By the end of this lecture, you will have a solid understanding of how to diagnose, treat, and prevent this devastating cardiac event. To begin, let us explore the underlying pathophysiology of atherosclerosis and its pivotal role in the development of myocardial infarction. We will analyze the initiation and progression of atherosclerotic plaques, highlighting their obstructive effects on coronary blood flow, leading to myocardial ischemia and infarction. Furthermore, we will examine the cellular and molecular mechanisms involved, shedding light on the inflammatory processes and lipid accumulation within the arterial walls. Moving on, it is crucial to comprehend the various clinical presentations and electrocardiographic findings that aid in classifying different types of myocardial infarction. We will explore the distinctive features of ST segment elevation myocardial infarction, STEMI, and non ST segment elevation myocardial infarction, and STEMI, including their respective diagnostic criteria, management approaches, and prognostic implications. By the end of this topic, you will be able to differentiate between these two types of myocardial infarction confidently. Myocardial infarction can manifest differently in certain patient populations, making it essential for physicians to recognize atypical symptoms and presentations. We will discuss how myocardial infarction may mimic other cardiac and non-cardiac conditions, such as gastrointestinal disorders and anxiety disorders, necessitating a thorough differential diagnosis approach. By studying specific patient populations, including the elderly and individuals with diabetes, we can sharpen our diagnostic skills and improve patient outcomes. In this topic, we will meticulously examine the various risk factors associated with myocardial infarction. Our focus will be on both modifiable factors, such as smoking, hypertension, obesity, and diabetes, and non-modifiable factors, including age, gender, and family history. Understanding these risk factors will enable us to identify high-risk individuals, implement preventive measures, and ultimately reduce the incidence of myocardial infarction in our communities. Myocardial infarction can set into motion a cascade of potentially life-threatening complications. We will explore the impact of myocardial infarction on cardiac function, vasomotor tone, and systemic homeostasis, leading to complications such as cardiogenic shock, ventricular arrhythmias, heart failure, and mechanical complications. By recognizing and managing these complications promptly, healthcare professionals can significantly improve patient outcomes and prevent further morbidity and mortality. The journey of a myocardial infarction involves distinct phases, each with unique pathophysiological and clinical characteristics. By analyzing the time course of ischemic injury and exploring the healing and remodeling processes over time, we can better understand the rationale behind various diagnostic and treatment modalities. This knowledge will help guide our management decisions and post-infarction care strategies effectively. In this topic, we will delve deeper into the key differences between STEMI and STEMI, focusing on their clinical presentations, electrocardiographic findings, and management approaches. By comparing and contrasting these two types of myocardial infarction, we can tailor our patient-centered care and provide the most appropriate interventions, including prompt reperfusion strategies and secondary prevention measures. The cornerstone of acute myocardial infarction treatment lies in the concept of revascularization. We will examine the fundamental principles of percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI, and thrombolytic therapy, including their indications, contraindications, procedural techniques, and potential complications. By understanding the mechanisms and limitations of these revascularization strategies, we will be equipped to provide timely and appropriate intervention to our patients. Following a myocardial infarction, various pharmacological agents play a crucial role in secondary prevention and long-term management. We will explore the specific medications employed, such as antiplatelet agents, beta blockers, angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors, and statins. Understanding the mechanisms of action, benefits, and potential side effects of these medications will allow us to optimize post-infarction care and reduce the risk of recurrent cardiac events. Cardiac biomarkers, such as troponin and CKMB, provide valuable insights into the diagnosis, risk stratification, and prognosis of myocardial infarction. We will explore the significance of these biomarkers, their release kinetics, and diagnostic thresholds. By utilizing these biomarkers effectively, healthcare providers can ensure an accurate and timely diagnosis, guide management decisions, and monitor the response to therapy. Imaging techniques, such as echocardiography and cardiac magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, 
play a vital role in assessing the extent of myocardial damage, evaluating functional abnormalities, and guiding management decisions in patients with myocardial infarction. We will delve into the unique advantages and limitations of each imaging modality, empowering physicians to utilize them optimally to enhance patient care and improve outcomes. To conclude this comprehensive lecture, we will emphasize the importance of long-term management and secondary prevention strategies for patients who have experienced a myocardial infarction. By implementing risk stratification techniques, encouraging lifestyle modifications, and incorporating cardiac rehabilitation programs, we can significantly improve outcomes and reduce the risk of future cardiac events. These proactive measures will undoubtedly make a lasting impact on the overall well-being of our patients. Congratulations, medical students, on completing this comprehensive study of myocardial infarction. We examine the pathology, clinical classification, risk factors, complications, management, and long-term care. Use this knowledge to improve the lives of patients with this critical cardiac condition. Remember the significance of early diagnosis, timely intervention, and patient-centered care.